What's up Amazon sellers? Managing your inventory and your shipments in Amazon Seller Central can be one of the most complicated processes when selling on Amazon FBA. Now, if you wanna know how you can manage your inventory and get those shipments right using Seller Central, then stay tuned. I'm gonna share all in this video today. Right, if you don't know who I am, my name is Thomas Parkinson. I've been selling on Amazon now for four years doing the online arbitrage model. Now in the UK, I'm a seven figure Amazon seller. Check this out. And in the USA, I'm doing six figures. Check this out. Now, hopefully I plan to expand into another marketplace in the near future. And if you want to learn about my journey, what I'm learning and what I'm doing and hit the subscribe button down below, that's just going to notify you when I release more videos and sharing about this journey. Okay. So first things first, what is Amazon Seller Central? Amazon Seller Central is basically the web interface, the web platform that we use, that brands use, merchants, sellers are using on Amazon's marketplace, which allows them to list sell and ship all their products and control as well, all their products which they are selling on Amazon's marketplaces. Now, it allows them also to interact with customers and do many, many other things. Now, if you have a Seller Central account, you are generally considered to be a third party seller on Amazon with the ability to sell on Amazon's marketplace. Now, there are many sellers who are gonna be using what's known as the Fulfillment by Amazon program or FBA. And this is when Amazon does the, you know, the logistics, the prep, and the shipping to the customer. And for me, this is something that I'm doing you know, as an Amazon FBA seller in my online arbitrage business model. Now, this is quite simply when I buy products online and I ship them to my prep center, and then we ship them to Amazon's fulfillment centers for them to store them, waiting for them to sell through the marketplace. Once they've sold, Amazon will then prep those units and ship them off to the customer with the right label in the right box. Now this all happens online, which is fantastic for me using Amazon's fulfillment centers and then selling on the marketplace. Now, since my business is pretty much purely online, if you don't know right now, I'm in Mexico City and my Amazon business is located in the UK. Using Amazon Seller Central has been super important for me for managing inventory, shipments, and pretty much my whole Amazon business on the marketplace. Now for me, my business has grown to a certain point whereby I've been unable to manage all of this my own, it simply becomes too much. Now I've got a team of virtual assistants who are focusing on managing my business, controlling that stock, that inventory, creating the shipments within Amazon Seller Central and supporting me to grow my online business. Now, as you can probably imagine, as I grow my business, I'm getting more and more stock in and obviously create more and more shipments and obviously more and more sales, revenue, and hopefully profits as well. And all of that needs to be managed. And how do I do a lot of that? Well, through Amazon Seller Central. Okay, so today we are talking about managing inventory, creating shipments. And the question I want to ask you is how are you managing your inventory? Are you using Seller Central or perhaps are you using third-party software? If so, let me know in the comments, but I'm just interested. Are you using Seller Central or maybe third-party software? Let me know in the comments down below. Okay, so this leads me nicely on to how to manage inventory and shipments on Amazon Seller Central. Okay, so in my Amazon FBA business, we are using Amazon Seller Central for a whole range of things. And, you know, so the logistics side, these are going to include things like shipping in, you know, our products into Amazon. And with that, there might be discrepancies on the shipments, which we can identify. Also as well, we can list the products in Amazon Seller Central. We can create new listings as well. And also as well, we use that, as we say, Seller Central to manage our inventory of the stock within Amazon's warehouses through the FBA program. Now to show you this clearly, let me should we say jump on the computer now and I'm gonna share my screen with you. And I'm gonna talk you through you know, what you need to understand around this. Here we are logged in now within to, should we say, Seller Central. And the first thing we really wanna be looking at is, should we say, when I'm checking, having a quick look, is a managing our inventory. So let's click on that. Now, what you can see here in this section is it, you know, it's providing information on our products. For us, we've got here, like right now it's got date created, but you know, it's sorted by that, but it's got all the different items and you can search here where it's like search by SKU title, you know, ASIN, for example. You can also, you know, if you say filter or sort it, so filtering up here, so like status, like active or inactive, incomplete, listings remove, and search suppressed, obviously if they're buy box suppressed, or not buy box, search suppressed, sorry. Merchant fulfilled, Amazon and merchants. Also using the FBA program, you'd use Amazon. The other thing you wanted to think about as well is it you can actually edit, should you say, a particular listing. So if you want to come over, you click on this edit button, so click on that. And that's, you know, it's going to allow you to, should we say, 
uh, do lots of different actions. So you can see here all the different things. You've got like delete listing, merge listing, you know, many, many different options on there that you're going to control. So helping you control that inventory within Amazon Seller Central. So let's jump back up to manage in FBA inventory. So very similar to the first one, but manage inventory does all your inventory, whereas manage FBA inventory just does the inventory within Amazon's warehouses. So if you're doing like merchant fulfilled, that would be under that would be under manage inventory, but only stuff which is FBA would be under manage FBA inventory. So you can see here, scroll down, exactly the same kind of like layout, look, feel, but this is just FBA inventory. So let's have a quick look down. So the other one we use quite heavily is inventory planning. So here you've got you know lots of information, which is like super useful for like just managing like how well your actual inventory is running and you know, the key parts of it. So then also kind of gives you areas that you should be focusing on and make improvements on. So, you know, you've got here like IPI, so ours is 607, which I'm really happy with. And that's about controlling how effectively you're managing the stock. SKU3 stock, excess units, i.e. stock, which is, should we say, too old or like you've got too much. And then days in inventory, how many you're actually selling. So, you know, how long will it last? So 12 days, ours is pretty quick. So if we scroll down, you can see here, another one I really look at here is aged inventory. So the majority of my inventory is pretty much under 90 days. You can see that, but that's just helping you control how old your stock is. And then the next thing, let's have a quick look at is, let's kind of jump down here and go to add product. Now here you can just kind of like add products into your inventory if you want to. So let's say for example, there's an ASIN or a product you want to add in. You can just, so we can either search by name or barcode, anything, drop it in there. And that's gonna allow you to like find a product that's on the Amazon marketplace and then add it into your own inventory. And that's quite simple. And that's how you get it in. So very simple. Let's go back to inventory. Let's go to add products via upload. Now we've just talked about how to do it by one. But what you can do is you can use what's known as a bulk uploader and you can upload on mass. So you could do like two, five, 10, 100, you know, 1000 if you want. And what it will do is it will upload all of those products onto your onto your inventory, you know, price, et cetera, everything you need to think about. So that's going to help you out there and just speed up your processes. And you can see here right now, we do a lot of this. We do a lot of uploading in bulk because it just makes it so much more efficient. So if you do want to upload, and what I will say is I'll drop a link up there to a video that I've done previously about doing this, but that's you just go to that upload inventory and that's it. That's the template. Okay, so here is obviously that place where you're uploading the inventory file. And then should we say for us, once you upload that and as part of that video you should check is you can click that kind of monitor upload status of the file right here. So there you go. You can see like we're uploading a lot of these files. So very, very you know, simple, and we do it all the time to update our inventory, just because we've got so much going on. Now, she said, the next thing to kind of look at is, let's kind of go back up to inventory here, and then go to manage FBA shipments. And these are probably the core areas that we're looking at. So right now, we've got, you know, these are the shipments going from our warehouse or house into Amazon Seller Central. So you can see like here, um, you've got room, she said, the shipping queue right now. So these are the, the shipments coming in from the warehouse. So you can see that, you know, what shipments have been sent, but also what's the process and what's the status. So like this top one here, you know, you've got the shipment name, the ID, the created date, um, also last updated, so like what's going on with it. You know, here that, that last updated. You've also as well got like, you know, where it's been shipped to, the warehouse in Amazon. So if it's multiple donations, you can get that as well. Number of SKUs, so that's like total number of products. I'm not, you know, different products, we say. And then how many units is the total number of products, the units shipped. And then also how many received. So you can see here, we shipped 118, they received 118, fantastic, like that. And also status, which is closed as well. So for us, when we're looking at these units received and kind of uh, close, you should want them the same. But obviously again, here's the status. So again, if there's any problems, you can click track shipments and, and just kind of go into them and see a bit more detail. Now, the other one you might want to think about is like filtering. If there's any problems, you can go filter by like last updated up here. So you can do like what's going on. And that helps you manage kind of reconciliation. And, and also as well, like here, you can do status whereby, you know, if there's anything you want to look at there that's going to help you understand. Um, you know, like open, closed ones or anything like that, that helps that status. Let's say, for example, you've got something which a shipment which was created a, a couple of months ago and you know the shipment ID, or just a while ago, you know the shipment ID, you can use that search bar up there if that helps. So scroll down, have a quick look, and, and you know, shipping plans, if I kind of click over here as well, we've got like down here, we've got, should we say, any shipment plans which are currently created but not shipped yet. 
So this is basically whereby we've created a shipment ready to go, but we haven't actually shipped it yet from the warehouse to Amazon. So it's going to see. So for us right now, we've got nothing. We've also got like send to Amazon here. Now this is probably like the newest part of it. So, or the newest shipment creation workflow. We use an automated upload process, but you can use this as well. And it's got you know, lots of information about that, kind of like choose the inventory to send. It's a very step-by-step -step process. Um, and for us, like I mentioned before, we're using like an upload process. And this is just where we're uploading those files. And it's got a, like a CSV file uploads. And then what happens is it will detect that information, create the shipment for you. So um, here you can download that template, which is going to help you out, make it more efficient. And then that allows you to build it. And then you can upload it down here. And you can see the history of all the ones you've done. So for us, you know, we're not doing a lot. You can see like eight, seven, 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 eight. Yeah, that's like the number of records. So it's not huge, but it does just help speed up your processes and just makes managing inventory so, so much quicker. And that's it. That's pretty much a bit about managing your shipments and inventory here using Server Central and the, the core areas that we use. Okay, so we're talking now about managing or, or should the best practice and how to use Amazon Seller Central for managing shipments and inventory. Now, you probably picked up on something earlier on that I talked about is I have a team of VAs who are doing this for me. Why? Because we've grown so big and I couldn't do it on my own. Now, the interesting thing, which I will say, is if you ever look at anyone who sells on Amazon, any of the big sellers, they develop teams, all companies who are growing develop teams. Why? Because they realize they can't do it on their own. And actually they need to build a team. Now, if you too are thinking about growing your Amazon business to a higher level, growing that out, and if you want to make it much more successful, then you too should think about a team. And where would I recommend starting to build a team? Well, first things first, in an Amazon arbitrage business, I'd really recommend doing is hiring a manual sourcing VA. Now, this is a VA who is going to find deals for you. Why? Because at the end of the day, it's not administration that makes money. It's actually finding and reselling those buy low, sell high deals which makes the biggest amount of difference. Now, if you are interested in getting a sourcing VA for your Amazon business, then look no further than Fast Track FBA VA Academy. This is a service I created whereby we find, hire, and train, and support you with your own VA for 12 weeks. Now, the VA is yours. They work for you. We just charge a one-off fee to help you get the right person who's going to add value. If you are interested and want to have maybe a free 30 minute consultation call with my team, have a look at the link down below. I'll drop that and you can have a look. Trust me, it's game changing. We've hired over 400 VAs in the last two years for over 180 clients. Do the maths, people keep coming back. That's more than two VAs per client. Why? Because they understand it works. Okay, so this leads me nicely on to actually say some top tips for you in managing your inventory and shipment within Amazon Seller Central. Now look, first thing first, when I was going through that presentation, I showed you about discrepancies whereby you ship in 113 units, Amazon says, hey, you only shipped in 100. This is something that does happen. And what do I really recommend for you is keep your receipts. Now, the reason why I say this is because when you are buying these products, these like 100 products for example, when you ship those items in and there is a discrepancy, what happens? Well, Amazon is going to ask to see evidence you actually purchased what you said you shipped in. And if you don't have those receipts, then most likely you're going to say, sorry, we're not going to honor the fact that you, you, shipped, you said you shipped in more. So keep those receipts ready for if something went wrong, you have them available on hand to obviously put in. It's going to make a big, big difference for you. Now, my second top tip for you is to really understand a product's velocity of sales. Now, why do I say this is because when we're talking about the velocity of sales, what we're trying to understand is how fast the product is selling. Now, why? Because we want to make sure when we're buying the product, we want to buy enough of the product that we've got, should we say, enough in to sell, but also not too much that actually we're going to hold too much stock. Now, why is this important? Because Amazon's warehouses are called fulfillment centers. They're not called store storage centers. What does that mean? It means that they want you to ship the products in so they can fulfill them, not ship them in so they can be stored there. Now, not only that, but obviously if you don't order enough stock in, what's going to happen? Well, you're going to run out of stock and your sales are going to go down, less revenue and less profits. So how do you stop all of this? Well, you understand the velocity of sales of your products, listing sales, 
It's something really important to understand, so make sure you know that. Now for you, when you're selling in Amazon, making sure that you're obviously keeping that inventory moving is super important. And how do you do that? Well, obviously repricing that stock is gonna really help you out. Now, if you wanna know more about how to reprice your products and hey, and what reprice the tool that I use to automate this process, then what I'll do is I'll leave a video up here about what I'm doing in repricing. And I think check that out, you're gonna really like it. But what I will say is we say managing your inventory does take a lot of effort. And if you wanna know what other things you need to do, you know, to consider about managing inventory, then what I'll do is I'll leave a video around here about how to manage your inventory on Amazon itself and some more top tips around that. So do check that out. Um, but what I will say is hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hit the thumbs up. And hey, if you want to see more, hit that subscribe button down below. But for myself, Thomas Parkinson and Fast Track FBA, thank you very much.